What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today, I actually just came back from shooting and let me just take you guys with me because I'm super hungry. Let me focus this. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the power. Why is this so low? I swear, man, just one second. There you go. And I'm gonna be quiet because if you could hear the shh, my son's about to go to sleep, so. I gotta make sure that he stays asleep, so I'm gonna talk low but let me share with you guys what I'm gonna talk to you guys about today and first off fighting the best yogurt ever all right you guys just saw me make my breakfast because I'm so hungry we went to um, this place called San Pancho here in Puerto Vallarta which is about I don't know, I want to say an hour north of, like, old Puerto Vallarta to go shoot, and I was super hungry, I didn't eat anything, I was craving some tacos or craving some chilaquilos or something, but we didn't do that because uh, we had to make sure our son came to sleep for, a nap, for his nap, so, honestly, let me take you to the other room because I want to talk louder. I need to talk a little bit louder. My son's not falling asleep, so, ow. Oh my God, he left a toy. Okay, so, um, yeah, so basically this video, I wanna share with you guys the power of, I, that was a weird transition, why did I start like that? I think I was trying to be too quiet, but I made my breakfast. I went to go shoot in San Pancho, as I was mentioned, as I was telling you guys, um, and yeah, it was fun, it was successful. We went to go try to see if we could find a location to shoot. Um, scout locations essentially so we did that we took some photos we did some test test shooting and yeah I think it was successful but why I have you guys here why I made why I decided to make this video right now um, while I was extremely hungry it was because I wanted to share with you guys the power of a trouser so essentially what I want to do is share with you guys the different ways you could get different looks with different trousers so for me my main thing when people ask about wardrobe is they ask how to get it and so for me the best advice i can give is to stay away from trends and to focus on building a solid foundation for your wardrobe meaning that you have the right essential pieces that could go with anything else that you want to add on to it because if you try to create a wardrobe with a specific brand trend um then you're never going to get anywhere because trends fade so you have to make sure that you have the perfect essential foundation for a wardrobe that will allow you to just wear whatever you want with it and for me one of the biggest most pivotal uh things that i found out that you know um made my wardrobe exist uh and could coexist with other products is to have a, a solid pair of trousers and so for me the best trouser color i think that you guys could get it totally depends on your mood and your style, but for me personally, uh, it's a navy trouser. So it's not just any navy trouser. I think um, depending on the way you want to dress and the way you want to style your outfits and how you're rocking them, right? But for me, like right now, I like to be a little bit more of this uh, edgy contemporary kind of style. I still keep the sart sartorial look, uh, still keep the dapper essence, uh, but you know, uh, allow myself to to mix it with you know current trends like street style so for me the most important way to get away with that the, is to have a really cool pair of trousers uh different colors doesn't really matter uh but once you have your wardrobe essentials like it doesn't matter what colors you add to it but for me like starting off with a basic navy trousers is going to allow you to maximize your 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 essential uh, maximize your outfits and what you could get out of your wardrobe and for me, it, it's important to have a very sick, uh, here, let me show you guys. Excuse the mess. But as you can see here, this trouser is a made to measure trouser from Proper Cloth. And this is, has an extended uh, belt tab, button tab, sorry. And it, this one, I'm actually so surprised that I have belt loops. I must've gotten this a while ago, but usually I get side tabs, which I messed up. Can you see this? Hold on. It's too bright, huh? Whatever. But you guys get the point. So this, and it has, this doesn't even have a pleat. So yeah, this right here is probably your, mace, your most basic trouser you could find anywhere. So I'm actually glad I wore these. Usually I get double pleats and it just makes the outfit a little bit more elevated. And a single pleat, it's up to you. But I like double pleats and I usually don't get the belt buckle, the belt uh, loops, I get the tab. 
and that just makes it even more elevated because it's just a fastened tightened situation right here that just kind of makes it look more bespoke more made to measure which speaks volumes uh, and the only thing that I have going for myself with this one this is such a basic pant this is just this extended uh, uh, button tab so that's saving I think this outfit in the way that I'm going to present whatever style I want to wear with it and essentially make it more elevated now why would I say a navy trouser is because usually you could get a really cool navy suit and for me a navy suit is just going to allow you to get away with so much more um occasions like you know like you could wear a navy suit to a wedding you could wear a navy suit to a job interview you could wear a navy suit to a bar you could wear a navy suit to anywhere it's a very standard color suiting that ne doesn't necessarily say anything about you other that you just dress you like dressing up so it's a very uh, common understanding of a wardrobe piece that you have a navy suit and you know if you go to a store you're probably going to find one but just let me say this i was going to talk about trousers only because it's important but i think the more important route to go is to get a navy suit because a navy suit is just going to allow you to just completely go from super casual maybe even edgy if you throw on some sneakers to just very formal so i'm not going to show you guys exactly like all the looks for it but i will give you an idea of like what to get in terms of suiting does someone yell okay so this right here is the jacket that goes with this and let me see as you could see this has a wide uh, peak lapel so this just looks way better because wait one second let me adjust this hold on sorry so essentially this is important because this is what's going to separate you guys from Jack and John. Like, if you have the wide peak lapel, like you see here, this just has like a standard of sartorial. So this is what's going to separate you from every other uh, suit that you could get from Nordstrom's, that you could get from the men's warehouse, that you could get from um, Tom Ford, anywhere. Like, everyone has a standard lapel or a slim lapel. So the only difference is that, like, this just, it's almost like if you know, you know type thing, right? So, like, I think that is a mutual understanding and people even see it like the old peak lapels the peak lapels used to come with old suits back in the 50s that were just all standard like super wide so i think that just knowing that that was the fashion for back then it might be like oh that's a little old school vibe so that has more of like a mafia type um good fellows vibe right so instead of just having a skinny lapel which really doesn't work for that many people unless you have very slim shoulders Either way, it's very tricky to just wear a slim lapel, so I just recommend stay away from that. And a standard lapel just won't make the suit different from any other suit. So I suggest that if you guys get a suit, check out proper cloth. It's made to measure. You guys get a wide peak lapel like this, and this one could even be single. Single. Uh, it won't. It doesn't have to be double breasted. It could just be a standard single button shirt. Um, single breasted. Wow, I forgot the terms, dude. Sorry, I need to eat. Um, so, as I said, this is the perfect way to wear a suit if you guys want to dress up a little more edgy. Th let me show you the outfits real fast, just one second. So, let's just say, for instance, that you're going to, like, a day drinking event slash, like, wedding reception. I don't know. Just something casual. You guys could easily rock this. Excuse me, there's a stain here. It was coffee, but you get the point. You could get, like, a casual shirt. It doesn't have to be a wife beater, honestly. Um, you could get, like, a white shirt from the Hanes or whatever the brand that you want. But, essentially, this is a vibe right here where you can go for it with a suit, black casual shoes, loafers, elevates it, and it looks like you know what you're doing. Now, let's say maybe you just wanna go for something a little bit more edgier. Uh, is this too bright? Probably. If you wanna go for something a little bit more edgier, right? So let's say you wanna look like, you know, uh, I don't know, someone important, I don't know. You could go for like an oversized shirt. This is like a silk shirt that I got from a thrift store. Um, but essentially like, oh, whatever. You could rock something similar to this. That's flowy. And 
the good thing is that the trouser just elevates it. Like if this was just a regular chino, a navy chino, it wouldn't look good. It would be like it, you have the look, but you don't have the complete look. And I think that just with certain details, like you can see I don't have the elongated, the, the side tabs, I don't have the pleats, but like just the minor detail of this extension just says like, oh, this dude is wearing, like it's just a more of a bespoke look. So if you guys know what I'm saying. So this right here completes the deal. And they're high waist too. So, and Like if you guys want to go for more like of, a, of like a fitted shirt and you just want to like I don't know brunch or date looking cool separate yourself from the other guys wearing uh, t-shirts I don't know if you wanted to add more layers to your outfit a little bit more depth then you could throw on like a terry cloth button uh, unbuttoned shirt and throw a hat on with your glasses and it looks like this So, essentially, why I'm making this video for you guys is to just share with you guys the power of the, a navy trouser. And the navy trouser doesn't have to be, the navy trouser has to be, like, purposely made for uh, these type of uses, like, for uh, versatility. So, you want to make sure that if you are going to get a made-to-measure suit, if you are going to get made-to-measure trousers, that you just get a trouser that could do it all. And I think that that's, like, the first level to building a really amazing wardrobe because then you won't have to worry about like if I were to go get a crazy piece from uh, who's making expensive shirts like I don't know you guys know the high-end brands uh, but if you guys want if we want to have like a crazy pique shirt or if you guys want to get like something with uh, chevron designs or something then you have the foundation to do that you have the shirt you have the uh, navy trousers that are going to accommodate like anything that I throw on here so any type of pattern that I want to have with this with this block I'll be good. Like it's it's gonna look good. It's not gonna over. Um, I'm not gonna do too much. You know, like it's gonna be perfect. Like, you know, like even if I get like a crazy polo shirt, like this is the one that I wore last and the the Percival one. Like even this one. Like if I wear this, then it just elevates the look. It can, it keeps the, the the look elevated while drawing attention to the statement piece that is supposed to be the statement only piece. Um, so I won't have to be rocking crazy patterns crazy patterns just going to be a basic block that you know looks good that you know has the pieces the the the, the, the foundation to make it look really uh, elevated and you don't take away from the piece that you want to make noise with so i think that you know just building a really good um wardrobe foundation is very important and you can wear it with the hat as well whatever you want but I think even just having the uh, black shoes, as you guys saw, just allows me to get away with so much because they have tassels, so they're not just black sneakers, they're not white sneakers, they're black tassel loafers. So just making an investment and having, I could rock those shoes with all the outfits, as, as you could see, that it, it just elevated everything, they're comfortable and they're easy to get. And so it just separates you from, like I said, the other people that are trying to dress cool or that are dressing cool or just, you know, help you build your brand IQ. So. Uh, or brand identity so you know there you guys have it that's what i wanted to share with you guys just like the power of a navy trouser that's well done i suggest you guys go check out um proper cloth because they have a lot of made to measure uh different variations that you could tweak and you can make them to your size which is very important and get the side tabs get no belt loops uh you know get the um extended button closure whatever it's called and you guys will be good honestly so why is Sorry, this, my room's a mess right now. I woke up super early to go shoot. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something super quick, just a little quick vlog on how to like maximize your wardrobe. I could do other pieces as well. If you guys are interested, let me know what you guys want to see. I'm extremely hungry. I don't know why, dude. I smoked a cigar too super early. And if you guys want to go see the photos I took today, stop by by Carlos Roberto on Instagram. You guys will see exactly how I um, shot the outfits. I'm, I was wearing these trousers and the suit and you guys could just see the location. So yeah, I think that's it. I think that's um, what I have for you guys today. Um, super simple, super easy. Get yourself some trousers. Any questions, let me know down in the comment section. Um, and if you guys want me to style any other thing, just let me know and I could do like a versatile like outfit look or whatever you guys want me to do. So 
I'll see you guys very soon. Don't forget to push down everything. I'm going to go finish my yogurt. Yogurt recipe? Just kidding. <laughs>